your boy Richie Ruckus. We are back here today. It is Saturday, April 24th, and I am back with a brand new sneaker pickup. I'm hit you with that unboxing, that review, and we're most definitely, most certainly going to get into the on foot. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Philadelphia, so I'm going to be doing the on foot out in the streets, out in the streets, out in the elements, out with my people. Before we get into the sneaker review, I did drop installment two of Sunday Morning Company on RichieRuckus.com last Sunday at 10 a.m. and there are still some pieces available. So richyruckus.com for all your Sunday morning co needs. I'm wearing one of the t-shirts from installment two right now. It is the $2 bill y'all t-shirt. So make sure you go check it out. richyruckus.com Sunday morning co. Now that the formalities are out of the way, if you are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and follow your boy on all social. And while we're talking social, Give Sunday Morning Company a follow on Instagram. I will have their IG going across the screen right now. Now that all of the formalities are out of the way, you know the drill, you know why you're here. Let's get a glimpse. All these Warlocks. We have the Yeezy Boost 700 in the bright blue colorway. Fire, absolutely fire. This is the first pair of V1 700s that I've been excited for since probably, in all honesty, the Wave Runner. I mean, I'm a huge fan of my, you know, I have every, almost every pair of 700s, um, especially the V1s, and I love the Inertias. I love the Moves, but I just feel like this was the first pair since the OG pair that I was just like, wowzers. Like, that actually made me lose my mind. I had to get these. I won it. Sun yellows. They were so, so fire. And they were probably be like number two, two A, two B to this two A. So it's like wave runner than these. As far as like the OG silhouette, um, as I stated in a couple videos back, cream V2, which is like, just like a, a little bit of a updated version of the OG static model of the V2 is definitely up there, but these are just so, so dope. I had to get these and I'm glad that I hit on the raffle because I, I was very worried that I was not going to be able to get my hands on these. That being said, if I'm going to nitpick and I'm going to find an issue, I wish they would have got rid of the OG Wave Runner green here and the the tote, the blue on the toe right here. This mesh is all OG colors and it's like, uh, I just wish they would have maybe made the sneaker more co cohesive and colorway but then it's like uh you know what i like the color block and does change it up i just think i would have used different colors but it's it's fantastic to see kanye drop sneakers that aren't just like monochromatic earth tones like a bright yeezy is just something that we needed in our lives right now the easy 700 is by far the most comfortable yeezy the easy 500 has you know grown to be my favorite pair i've always been a fan of them i know a lot of people weren't on the 500 bandwagon right away a lot of people weren't on the 700 bandwagon when we all first seen images back in that august of 2017 i want to say that it was a lot of people were clowning what kanye was doing and again you know, the, my my guy was just, you know, he doesn't ride waves, he makes waves. And it was like the dad shoe craze was coming in and he, you know, he was part of it. So uh, I definitely had to, you know, definitely um, have been on the 700 bandwagon since its inception. But the one problem we always had with 700s was that hefty price tag. They finally dropped the 700 price tag down to 240, which is a steal for these sneakers. And... I don't typically touch on the resale game because you know your boy does not do it, but I don't buy, I don't sell. It's just, I, I don't mess with the, the sneaker reselling game. This helps resellers. And, I, and in, in a weird way, I almost feel like that's why they did it because I don't think they did it for the consumer. The 700 is a very popular, highly sought after model. So I, I feel like the price drop 
was to help resellers with their price profit because it, these are reselling i looked on StockX and my size the size nine in this the 700 is reselling for 387 dollars had this been the original price point they wouldn't be really making that much of a profit so i almost maybe i'm wrong maybe they're not helping the resellers they're helping the people on the secondary market because if this was a 300 dollars sneaker then you kind of have to price it at like 410 so it's making people who were paying for sneakers on the resale market the price is dropping a lot more uh, attainable so maybe that's what he's doing maybe kanye is looking out for the people who have to buy the sneakers on the resale market and if that's the case my hat's off to him like i said it's a yeezy 700 super super dope sizing i always go a half size up in my 700s i touch on this in every yeezy video all of my yeezy collection is a size nine uh, i wear eight and a half in all jordan brand and nike and regular adidas models i'm looking over here on this wall behind the cameras like where my gazelles and like anikis and stuff like that are they're all a size eight nmd size eight ultra boost size eight so it's eight and a half eight and a half in jordan brand nike Eight and regular Adidas models, nine in Yeezys. It's crazy. New Balance, again, eight, eight and a half. It really varies. But we're talking about the Yeezy 700, bright blue. A price point of 240 nice. I love the Kanye dropped it down. Size nine. And that's really pretty much it. I mean, I love the combination of the, the, the different color blues. You have like a baby blue and like a royal blue. This orange midsole is just straight bananas. And then you got that blacked out bottom with the boost underneath. These creamish yellowish white laces give it a nice touch like i said as much as i wish they would have went with a different color than the teal and the green on these mesh panels on the forefoot i like that they broke up the monotony of the colorway so it's like not just this blue and orange they threw in the hints of green and like teal which is a combination of green and blue but i just think it's super super dope and i'm glad that i was got my hands on them i was really really stressing if i was going to get these um the pro with the price point going down Less people are hesitant to grab a 700 now. The, that was the one thing about the $300 price tag. People who don't like buying sneakers on the resale market because of the price kind of steer clear of $300 sneakers. Dropping it down to 240 I feel like you're going to make them more attainable. And people who typically stayed away from 700s are going to be going after them now that the price dropped. Now that the price has dropped $60 on the retail. That's pretty much it. One last look. I'm going to go bang out this on foot. I'll be back next week with some more videos. But until then, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace! The number you have reached, 911, has been changed. just started binge watching the oc so i'm not even going to say something creative on here the oc seth cohen ryan atwood classic show from my younger days is now streaming on hbo max i'm gonna go get back into that i'm out of here holla nothing creative going into the phone but i'm out of here